When I first felt uh, deeply called to plant a church, it really started out for me more so of a, uh, a burden for the inner city uh, and just a passion for seeing a group of minorities reach with the gospel message. Uh, once we got to Brooklyn and started to really um, just be in the city and walk the streets and pray, the Lord began to really draw our hearts to uh, a specific section in Brooklyn called bed -Stuy. We knew because we wanted to be in the community, we knew that we had to do something, I mean, really early, particularly because we didn't know the community and the community didn't know us. Uh, and so one of the things we did was we did water give outs where we just collected uh, water, put our label, our logo onto the waters and just gave them out to the community. Really good opportunity for us to talk with our neighbors, uh, tell them a little bit about us, share the gospel. We got to pray with people uh, and, and just engage. And then we went on some prayer walks as well, uh, walked through the neighborhood, uh, prayed for different aspects of the community. And it was really a good chance to get to know people in bed -Stuy, get to know people in Brooklyn, um, and, and get our name out there and, and get into the community. We wanted to make sure that we were praying in the community. I mean, that's how we started. Uh, with Ty and I and Dr. Mason and I coming to New York, we started by walking in the streets and praying. We have a presence and we're here and we're the, we're the church that's known to serve, you know, and I, I want that to be um, one of the, the, the buzz and, and bed size, the, the, the church that doesn't expect you to give, but that's here to serve our community and how can we serve. And if it's with hot coffee and it's with a water bottle or if it's with taking time and praying, like we, we want to be there. We knew we wanted to serve and bless a school. And so here in bed -Stuy, we had a connection with one of the principals of a school called Excellence Boys School. And so we teamed up with them, figured out that they needed some school supplies. We were able to raise about $300 to buy about 50 book bags full of um, school supplies for the kids. So when they started school, they had their supplies and we were able to start a relationship with them, which we still have now. So it's been a great partnership. My husband and I went to the garden party and that was our first uh, Sunday with Epiphany. And we saw it on Instagram and then uh, headed over. It was so welcoming and it was great to have that time to connect relationally and it got to have real conversation with people. Second Timothy 3.16 talks about how all scripture is breathed out by God. And we, we wanted to really build our church on what the Bible says and so one of the things we thought would be good is that we start by gathering weekly and doing Bible studies and so September first week of September we started to gather on Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock for Bible studies. We would break off into, into little groups and I just enjoyed that that was just closeness of all of us getting uh, into our groups that's when I met Victoria. <laughs> I think the major thing that we take away every week is that it's a very practical lesson that we can use in our everyday life. The men and everybody come together in the mornings each Sunday and they put everything together, they put the chairs up, the ladies are, are moving and taking care of the food and the kids are getting put in the rooms. It's just amazing how everything comes together. It's small, but when, once we get into a larger space, which I know is coming, uh, it's going to be awesome because we're going to be able to spread our wings like a rose and blossom in the community. Every single week that we've met, someone, a new face has popped up, and uh, so we're really excited about that. It's clear to us that the Lord does build the church. I mean, we can put all the strategies we want in place, uh, great social media, but at the end of the day, the people that come to the church that the Lord draws is people uh, that He wants to be a part of His church. I'm so blessed to get to witness this. I'm so blessed. Um, to be a member of Epiphany Brooklyn. Um, you guys are amazing and um, words can never express my gratitude, my thankfulness um, for the gift of God that you all are to me and Pastor Brand and, and our boys. Thank you, we love you guys. I found the church home that I've been looking for. God has blessed us with a place so, and we have people coming, so we are so thankful for that and I know God will be with us. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>